Hello, this is 8-Bit Rach and welcome to another Amstrad game review. I'm going to have a go on Hobgoblin. And this was a request by John Gage on YouTube. So let's run this. Run Hobgob. So it's a bit of a um, Ghosts and Goblins type game, isn't it? Uh, infinite Lives, no. That's a nice start screen. And it's, it's Atlantis Software. Their games are quite good looking. Um, I had a couple of them. I had Cave Mania, Super Kid. And was there a Super Kid 2? I know there was Super Kid in space, but I thought there was another one that I had, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this game's um, joystick only. I couldn't find the key to start it, but I'm using the numerical keypad, which I've configured to joystick. Now, straight away... The first thing I notice is that this is a really small playing area. Um, it's a shame it could do with being a bit bigger, but I'm guessing there must have been a reason for fucking hell, you know, for having it so small. Um, whether the graphics wouldn't be wouldn't have been so sharp, or it would have slowed the game down if it was bigger. I don't know. Um, but that aside, it looks quite a good game, do you know what I mean? It's colourful, graphics are alright, and it moves It moves pretty well on the whole. There is the odd occasion where I find actually the controls don't respond, mainly when you're trying to jump or fire, and that is a bit of a handicap in this game, do you know what I mean? And once I have played this a few times, um, and once you sort of learn where the enemies are, you can kind of prepare for it a little bit. So it's once you get into a bit of a practice, it's not too bad. But one thing with this game, I'll, I'll tell you why I've played it quite a few times already. I can hear like a dead high pitched noise, and it seems to be after you fire, and this game goes on for you know the sorry when you fire the sound goes on for a while. And I've never noticed it on like John's review. I'll put a link to that in the description box. But I don't know whether it's my headphones. Because he sent me the wrong which he used. And I can hear it now and I never noticed it before. So I don't, I don't know what the hell's bloody going on. Ah, you fucker. Ah! Don't know what that skull is. Maybe I should stay on there. No, I'll have to scroll. God, I didn't think he was going to die. So I'm not sure what these items are that you... Oh, shit. That you're collecting. Oh, you fucker. Right, so where am I? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm all right. Missed him with every fucking arrow, haven't I? One thing I do like about this is it's checkpoint based, so. Hang on a minute, I picked up golden arrows um, earlier on in the game. It did nothing, but now I've picked up a golden knife and it's firing golden arrows. I don't know, I, I don't understand what's going on. Hmm. Oh, I don't like this at all. And you fall down that fucking gap. Ah! <sighs> you could do with being able to just duck down because I can't drop down there because I'll fall down that gap. Ah! See, I didn't bloody touch him. Oh, fuck. 
but easily killed. So, is that a gap? <gasps> shit! Shit! I pressed the wrong. <sighs> I pressed the wrong bloody key. I'll have one more go. Just one more. <sighs> God, this is annoying. This is really annoying. So, one thing I've just realised actually is there was no music on the start screen for this. Atlantic, uh, Atlantis games normally had, you know, decent music on the title screen, at least if not in game. And this hasn't. I'm surprised at that, really. But the sound effects, they do remind me of Cave Mania. No, I'm not going to get him, am I, you fucker? Oh, it's just that bloody bit. It's because the enemy sprites are so friggin' small. Jump. Oh, pissing off. Because they're so small. And you have such a small range with the weapons. And because... You know, the hit detection's so off. They're quite difficult to get. Right, I'll leave it there. Um, so, yeah, basically, I think it looks a good game. Visually, it, it's, it looks great. It's not a bad game to play. Um, oh, that collision detection, though, really does let it down. And it's a shame, because I think if it wasn't for that, for all its other faults, like the small screen and sometimes not responsive controls, I think it'd be really playable. Um, but yeah, that, that hit detection lets it down. It's a shame there was no sort of music, title music. Like I said, Atlantis games always looked good. They always had good music. Well, I say they always did. The ones I had did, and I'm surprised this hasn't. So, yeah, the playing area could be bigger. Like I said, I, I could overlook that if the game itself was more playable. I don't dislike the game, and I'll probably play it again, but I, I don't think... I'm enjoying it as much as I should do, really. And that is a shame. I'd, I'd, I'd give it a go. See if you get any further than I did. Um, yeah, so I'll leave the review there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Try and out.